Section 3, we begin by learned how to execute single whip in the first half. Then we learn how to move sideways. When we move sideways, one has to see you are balanced by not looking down, but you rather see it in your mind. Opening, left toes and heel. Fingers extend, bend wrist, push hands forward. Pull elbows back and pressed. Shift weight to your right leg. Adjust your left toes in. Pick up your right leg to step forward. Lift your both hands to your chest level and push both hands out. From the last posture of grasping burst tail, we will learn single whip. One, sit back, weight onto your left leg. Turn your waist to the left, adjust your right toes in, and drop your right hand down. Both palms face yourself. And on two, shifting your weight to your right leg. Turn your waist to the left, pivoting on your left toes. Three, left hands on top will press down. At the same time, right hand will lift in front of your chest. Both hands is now changing their hand position. Four, turn your eyes, look to the right, push your right hand out, palm facing up. Then pull five fingers together, bend at your wrist. Six, lift your right hand, eyes look towards the left. Pick up your left heel and toes. Step left heel and toes down, foot is flat. Shifting your weight from your right leg to the left. Rotating your left palm and push your left hand out. This is called single whip. We'll repeat this one more time. One, sit back, turn your waist to your left, close your right toes, drop right hand. Two, shifting your weight to your right leg, turn your waist to the left, pivoting on your left toes. Three, pressed left hand down, lift right hand up, then adjust both hands, palm face yourself. Four, turn your waist to the right, pushed right hand out, palm facing out. Five fingers touched and bend at the wrist. This is called the hook hand. Lift your left palm, chest level. Turn your eyes, look to the left. Pick up your left foot to step out. Heel, toes down, foot flat. Shifting your way from right to left, move your left hands towards your left shoulder. Rotating palm facing out and push outward. One more time. Sit back to your left leg. Turn your waist to the left, drop, right hand, adjust, right toes in. Shifting weight to the right, turn waist to the left, pivoting on left toes. Pressed left hand down, lift right hand up. Turn your head, look to the right, pushed right hand out. Five fingers touched, bend at wrist, 
become a hook hinge. Lift left palms, face yourself, step left foot out, heels and toes, move left hands towards your left shoulder, turning palms, shifting weight from right to left and pushed hands out. Single whip. And now we will repeat one more time and I will point out the common mistakes people make. First, when we sit back, body is naturally upright. This requirement is throughout the whole forms. There's no change. When you turn your waist to the left and close your right toes, drop your right hand. Notice how the body is naturally upright. The common mistake people make is protruding the hips out. Make sure the hips is naturally tucked in. On two, shifting weight to your right leg, turn waist to the left, pivoting. Do this naturally and don't try to force, especially when you have too much weight on your pivoting foot. Pressed left hand down. Pay attention how you feel on your shoulder. And sometimes people lift their shoulder and they become more tension in their body. Lift right hand, place both hands evenly in front of your body. Turn your eyes, look to the right, same time push your right hand out. When you make the fingers together into a hook hands, your wrist is the same as your right shoulder height, not higher or lower. Lift your left palms in front of your chest. Turn your eyes, look left. Pick up your left foot to step out. Shifting weight, at the same time, move your hand to your left shoulder, left hand, turn palms and push out. At this time, you will find your right foot is in a right angle with your left foot. If you feel you're out of balance, make your right toes adjust slightly inward. You will find better balance. And now let's do single whip in a smoother version from the both hand push position. Sit back to the left, turn waist to the left, adjust right toes in, drop right hands down. Shifting way to the right leg, turn waist to the left, just left foot. Left hand, right hand pressed and lift at the same time. Turn your eyes, look to the right side, extend your right hand out and into a hook. Lift left palm, eyes look to the left, then step left foot out. Shifting way and rotating your left palm to push it out, same time. Adjust your right toes inward. And one more time on single whip. Sit back onto the left leg. Turn waist, drop. Right hand closed, right toes. Shifting way to right, turn waist to left. Lift and press left and right hand. Turn head, eyes look to the right, push right hand out into a hook. Lift left palms, eyes look left, step left legs out, turn left palms, shift weight to push it out. Adjust right toes. Sit back, close right toes, 
drop right hand. Shifting weight to right, lift and press both hands. Turn eyes, look right, right hand hook. Turn eyes, look left, steps out. Turn palms and push, adjust right toes. From single whip, we are going into wave hands like clouds. Sit back onto your right leg. Turn your waist to your right and close your left toes. Drop your left hand down. Open your right hook into a palm. We'll try this one more time. From single whip, sit back onto your right leg. Turn waist to the right, close left toes, drop left hand, open right hand into palm. And one more time on this. Sit back onto right leg. Turn waist to the right, close left toes, drop left hand, open right hand. Pressed and lift. Right hand pressed, left hand lift. It's this pattern that we keep doing over and over. After lift and pressed, move your hands from right leg to the left leg. As you shift, you'll find your weight is now on the left. So the right leg becomes lighter, then we can adjust the right foot next to the left. This is called wave hands like cloud, but we'll repeat this pattern three times. So top hand pressed, left hand pressed, bottom hand lift. And now both hands is on the left side. We will move both hands by turning the waist to the right side. As we turn, the right leg is now heavier, left leg is lighter. Then we can step left leg out. Then we do the lift and press again. Right hand pressed, left hand lift. Turn waist to the left and move to the left leg. Now right leg is lighter. Adjust right leg by closing in. Lift and press again. Pressed, top hand down, lift, bottom hands up. Move from left side to right side. Then left leg steps out. Lift and pressed. Top hand, right hand press down, left hand lift. Move from right to left and closed right foot in. This wave hands like cloud. We count your right foot and the right foot move three times. One more time for wave hands like clouds. Shifting weight back to the right leg. Turn waist to the right. Drop left hand, close right toes, open right hand. And then now we begin to lift and press. Press top down, lift bottom up. Shifting weight from right to left. Move right foot first time. Lift and press, press left hand, lift right hand. Then turn from left to right. Step left legs out. Lift and press, press right hand down, lift left hand up. Move from right side to left side. And step right foot close in second time. Lift and press, Press left hand down, lift right hand up. 
Turn from left to right. Step left leg down. Lift and press. Press right hand down. Lift left hand up. Move from right to the left side. Right foot step. Close it in three times. One more time, and this time I will point out the common mistakes people make in wave hands like clown. First, from single whip, sit back, turn ways, close your toes, close left toes, drop left hand. Body naturally straight. Don't lean forward or tilting your shoulder. Lift and press. Press right, lift. Left hand. Move from right to left. When we move the right foot, move approximately shoulder length wide. The mistakes people make commonly is when they put their both feet together, and they find there is less balance. We need the balance for us to move. Press left hand down. Lift. Right hand. Turn from left to right. I need you to turn your waist. We want the waist to exercise. The common mistake people made is they just move the hand without turning the waist. Press right hand down. Lift left hand. Turn your waist. Your hand follows your waist. From right to left, step your left leg down. Then press right hand down, lift left hand up. Turn your waist from right to left, and closed right foot for the third time. And now follow me one more time. A smoother versions of the wave hands like clouds. Sit back, turn waist to the right, closed left toes, drop left hand. Hand lift and press. Turn waist from right to left. Step right foot one. Press left, lift right. Turn waist from left. To right, step left leg down. Left and press. Turn ways, and step right foot in. That's two. Left and press. Turn ways from left to right. Left leg steps down. Left and press your hand. Turn ways, move from right to left. Right foot step in three, and that is wave hands like clouds. And now we will learn the transitions into the second single whip. Since we already learned single whip previously, it's just a transition that we need to focus on. From wave hands like cloud, we still have. A lift and press. Press left hand down. Lift right hand up, just like wave hands. Then turn your body facing forward. And we are familiar with this position. From this point on, eyes look to the right. Push right hand out. Right hand makes a hook. Lift left hands to chest level. Eyes look. Left side, left leg steps out. Turn left palms, push out, and closed right toes. This is the second single whip. We、we'll、do this again front. Wave hands like clouds. Lift and press of the hands, and move in front of your chest. Eyes look to the right. Push right hand out. Right hand. Make a hook. 
left hand placed in front of your chest. Eyes look to the left, step left heel, toes out, shifting weight to the left leg, turn left hand pushed, adjust right toes. One more time front with hands. Hand change and move to the center. Eyes look to the right, push right hand out. Hook, lift left hand. Turn eyes look, steps left foot out. Turn left palm pushed, closed right toes. Second single whip. And now we are going to strunt single whip, wave hands like clouds, and single whip together. Press position. Sit back, drop right hand, close right toes. Shifting way to right, press lift both hands. Eyes look to the right, right hand hook, left hand lift. Eyes look to the left, step left legs out, turn left palms and push. Adjust right toes, first single whip. Sit back, weight to the right, drop left hand, turn waist to right, Close left toes. Hand changed, right hand press, left hand lift. Turn ways, move from right to left. Right foot step one. Lift and press. Move hands from left to right, turn ways. Step left legs out. Lift and press, right hand down, left hand up. Turn ways. Move hands from right to left. Right foot step in second time. Lift and press. Move hands from left to right. Left leg steps out. Lift and press. And hands move from right to left. Right leg step in. Wave hands complete. Second single whip. Lift and press, move hands in the center. Eyes look to the right, right hand push it out and hook. Lift left, eyes look left, step left legs out, turn left palms and push. Right toes, close it in. And now let's practice this in a smoother version. Sit back, turn waist, close toes, drop right hand. Sit back, change hand. Extend right hand out to hook. Eyes look, step left legs out, turn left palms and push. Wave hands like cloud, sit back, drop left hand, close left toes. Lift and press, turn ways, right foot step in, one, turn ways, left leg steps out, lift and press, turn ways, right foot step in, lift and press, turn ways, left leg steps out. Lift and press, turn ways, right foot step in, wave hands complete, second single whip, lift and press hand, right hand push it out to hook, left hand lift, eyes look, steps out, push left hand, single whip, second time. 